Now I would like to talk a little bit about Ebola. Ebola or oh, all diseases, all oh, mental illnesses, it has some sort of power from the bad side. When you're talking your power, it is a living. Power don't die. Power transform. Therefore, the virus caused the Ebola. Yes, they transfer from body fluid. It also transfer by air. Now, C CDC tell you that uh, it not transfer by air because they don't know. They don't know the root of the cause. They don't understand how the power that work through soul and body. They don't understand that. That's why I say, what I say here is a very obvious, but the scientists, it's very dark to scientists, like in the dark night. That's how the CDC people fit in. Now you're talking about, I, uh, uh, okay, if you go into the area, where the Ebola are right now. You're gonna get it. You don't have to touch the patient. It's gonna get in you. Sooner or later, it will either manifest it to you, body, or it will transfer to your descendant, your children or grandchildren. The reporter went to, to Libya and he got Ebola and come back. He didn't touch the Ebola patient. How did he get it? That's given to you. That CDC wrong. I will continue with Ebola, or all the disease, cancer, uh, Parkinson disease, or whatever disease. Some people get them. Some people don't get them. Some people got healed. Some people don't get healed and die with the disease. Because it depends on how you live your life. It depends on what you inherit from your parent, your grandparent, your in, in ancestor. That's how it works. Now, like Thomas Eric Duncan, I don't know much about him, but because it's, it's a time for him to go. So he thought, okay, he lied to get on flight to get in the U.S. Yeah, they have a good medical over here. He might get, he get, he will not die. But you know what? It's his time for him to go. He have to go. You can avoid all the things, but the life and death, you don't have a power over that. I'm very serious about this. If you don't believe in me, you just keep very close eye on everything around you. You will see it. Because I would not give you anything wrong. I'm responsible and liable for everything I receive from above and deliver to the people. I still remember that um, I saw on Amazon, the same way I got my book on for sale. Someone came in and made the comment, say that she's crazy, uh, she just claimed this to make money. If God wants to speak to, to people, he speak to people. Yet, God speak to everybody. But the problem is, People don't listen. People just block him out. That's what happened. In order for you to listen, to hear God say to you, God say to you how? To your dream, to all the people around you, give you advice. Tell you not to do that. Okay, go ahead and do this. Now, when you hear that is the one thing. You have to be very careful. Now, your discernment 
authority gonna go in. If you have that gift operate in you, you will be able to see, okay, okay, this one is wrong. Advice wrong. I'm not gonna do it. But that one also wrong too. Where is the right one? Just if you know, you understand how the supernatural power works and you live your life, do the right thing. Someone will come in and give you advice or you will get it in your thought. The Almighty will give it to you in your head directly. You don't have to, to, to go out and, oh yeah, I have a weird dream. Yeah, dream come in as symbol. You have to pray to this power, the good power, so you can understand.